Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Webdev. In this video, we will see how to do the many to many relationship. So first of all, let's try to understand what is this many to many. Normally what we have did, we have completed the one to one relationship and also we have did so many patterns, three patterns in the one to many relationship also we have. Now we need to know about the many. So let's try to see. Here also we'll try to see the pattern. Normally in the SQL server, so in the RDBMS SQL approach, what we'll try to do is, let's say I will try to tell an example. So we have a books. Okay, so we'll be having a books, and each book can have a multiple others, many others. Let's say that I am having a book. The web dev complete JavaScript. I have a book something like this now for this the author is let's assume okay other is Lita and also another guy is John let's assume these are the two others now let's say that we have a book in a such a way that the book can have multiple others okay many others multiple others let okay multiple others and an author an author can have multiple books okay so he can be author to a multiple books for example let's say that i am the author leela leela author so he can he can have multiple books like book one and book two okay so let's say that again book one i am so i could be not only the leela is the other so here, here you can have another author also like john so that means you can assume that in many to many relationship okay many to many relationship a book can have multiple others multiple others and also an author can have multiple book okay, multiple books so this is the thing so this is called as a many to many relationship now how can we have this one normally in the sequelish approach so how we will be having is we will be having a books table okay here you will be having a title price language okay these are the columns isbn like this you will be having the column names and you will be having an author's table and here you can have the name of the author address of the author like this you can have now you will be having a join table or pivot table or something like that so you will be having something like book underscore table so here you will be having book underscore id and author underscore id okay so like this you can have. it's not a problem so you can have it like this so this is the only approach you will be having when you want to implement the many to many now here you will be having books has many others and other has many books so like this as many as many like so go to a relationship if you are using any orms having like this book has many others and other has many like this so now this is a cyclish approach so first let's try to implement the cyclish approach how we can implement so let's go to here here I will create database. So I will have like this. First, we will have a books. Books dot set one. Here I will be having a book title. So let's say that book one. And we can have the price for this one 10.99. And also we can have something. Let's keep it uh, very simple. Or otherwise, you can have a language. And uh, language is English. Okay, so now you'll be having like this. This is one object, and you can have another one, something like book also. You can. Let's try to add the other sun. So now we have the two books. If you try to see eb dot books dot find dot pretty, and you are having two books. Now we need to have a other associated to this. So how can I make this other? Now here let's create a table authors dot set one set one. Now let's try to have something like author right. Try to have set many. Here you'll be having an array, and you'll be two objects. One you'll be name, and you can have an
and let's say we are having another other with it. So these are the two others we are having. So we got insert. So now we need to create a pivot collection, something like book underscore other. And whatever the name you want, you can keep it. Now you can have insert one. What I need to do here? First one will be book ID. Now for, for which book ID I want to insert? Here you can take first one book ID. So you can take this check and you can insert it here. And I can have other ID like this. Other ID I can have it. So I can other ID and I can insert it. Other ID. Other ID. ID. So now I insert it. So now if I try to see book uh, db dot book underscore author dot book underscore other book dot find if i try to use this one underscore other so now if you try to see here here you will be having something like id you not pretty so now we are here we are having a relationship between the book and other that this book id has this order so if you want to insert another order another book you can insert such a way that you can have another uh, other ID here you can copy this something like 604 right you can take something like 60 and you can insert now if you try to see book underscore other so you can have a relationship so this is entirely acceptable so the many to many relationship how we will be now so this is the sequelish approach so we have the mongodb data mongodb approach also. for example instead of maintaining the third table so there is no need to maintain the third table in the mongodb and we can we, by using these two tables only we can implement the many to many how we can implement is something like books we can take it okay so here you can have a title of the book and also you can have the price of the book and also you can have something like language of the book you can have the language of the book and here you can have the authors and here you can save the ids for this guy okay Say that uh, one two three you can save it and one two three you can save it. the reference thing so like this you can save it let's try to remove this one and uh, let's try to see it i am removing this eb dot book underscore author dot drop i am dropping the underscore author now let's try to see the collections if i try to show the collections authors and books are there so let's try to see the others so what are the others here find dot pretty these are the two others Leela and john we are having and if you try to see the books find dot pretty if i try to show so we are having book one and book two so let's assume that for the book one so we have another Leela and john and for this book two the only john is the other so let's try to update it eb dot books dot find okay eb dot or otherwise let's say that update one i will updating such a way that okay so i can have whose title equal to book one okay so whose title is one and i want to update in a such a way that dollar set and i will write here other other ids or something like that. and i can take an array or otherwise you can take an object also not a problem and i am taking these two objects guys okay and here i can paste it and the another object also comma and i paste it there that's it now i can press enter this object. now if i try to see eb dot books dot find dot pretty i try to check this one now here we are having for this title book one we are having other ideas of these two others reference we are having in the same scenario for book two we can assume 
अपडेट वन आई कैन से दैट हु एवर इज द ऑर्डर फॉर दिस गाय सो फॉर दिस बुक टू लेट्स ट्राई टू अपडेट इट ओके ट्राई टू अपडेट दिस वन एंड आई विल अपडेट दिस दैट इफ आई ट्राई टू चेक दिस वन सो फॉर दिस बुक वन द ऑर्डर द ऑर्डर सर टू ऑर्डर सर देयर फॉर दिस बुक यू आर हैविंग टू वन ओनली वन ऑर्डर यू वांट टू गेट you want to get those details of others using this id you can get that other other details so like this reference we can have with now without any usage of this pivot table something like book underscore other by using this books we can have it in the same scenario if you want some data analytics things and if you want to take the analytics that this other is having how many books like that means so you can go to the other let's say that i want an other okay we are having other right and here for this others you can take something like for this guy so db dot others dot update one okay i will try to do some random id whose name is leela so guy okay, i want to update the other for this one and i want to update like this and here i can keep some like book ids okay color set book ids is equal to i can have here One, two, three book ID, three, four book. And the IDs. So let's think of this one IDs. I am trying to keep the dummy. ID. Now I have updated. So if I want to check these all guys, now this for this Leela other, he is having a book ID of one, two, three, two. Normally it should be something like object ID, ID object ID. For for but for just for doing purpose, for uh, I have I have written it. Okay. So like this, you can have the reference both in the others and also in the books. Anyone is okay for you. If you are having books are very so much unbounded, unlimited. Is there so many are there means you can maintain for the others list in the book book table itself. Why? Because maximum others you will be having three or four others. You cannot have more than others for a single have unlimited others. Right? Whereas the others can have books something like thousands, hundreds of books they can have it. So it depends on the requirements and all those things how you want to maintain the link, uh, maintain the reference. Whether you want to maintain it in others or you want to maintain in the books, you can maintain it. so like this you can have the many to many relationship without having a pivot table or join table whatever the name it may be so like this you can maintain this one in the two tables it's the next video we will try to see why can't we embed this other total complete other name itself into the book thing so instead of referencing this other id instead of having this other id why can't i add complete other names here so other name name is leela and a city park like this why can't i update So what is the problem we will get it is for example me as a leela so right now i am staying in mumbai suddenly i have shifted to bangalore okay now i need to update in all the book details who i am uh, so where i am the author so i need to update the city details where wherever the book is belonging to me so that is that will become a tedious job so because of that reason we are maintaining a reference so there will be there will be some scenarios that we need to maintain uh, we need to maintain instead of reference we need to maintain the data embed document as an embed document i will try to, to i will try to tell you the scenario of that one also in the many to many relationship where we can maintain this so maintaining the reference where we can maintain i will try to show you but here instead of me having this other complete details without having reference like this it is may it is better to maintain the reference only rather than having complete other details in the book so this is how the many to many details works have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video And if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel thank you